Hey, we're here today at the Andy Warhol Stars of the Silver Screen exhibition at the Tiff Bell Lightbox in Toronto. Let's check it out. I'm Owen Shepard in Toronto. I'm here with John Davies, who's managing curator of the Andy Warhol Stars of the Silver Screen exhibition at the Tiff Bell Lightbox. John, can you tell us what's your role here uh, as managing curator? Um, well, Tiff uh, invited me to become involved in the project a couple of years ago and to work with the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh and their curators to put together this exhibition uh, here in Toronto and specifically focus on the moving image work. So the films in the show, the uh, TV episodes, and uh, the video artworks like the Factory Diaries. And what made you want to bring Andy Warhol's work here to the Tiff Bell Light Books? Hmm. Uh, I think it's a perfect fit, actually. Like um, Warhol's films, I think, are really uh, central to his work, but they're very hard to see. And um, and his fascination with Hollywood and with stars, uh, it really just seemed like a perfect fit for the light box and kind of a place where the where Hollywood could could meet the underground in a way. <laughs> cool. Now, for people who might not know a great deal about Andy Warhol or his work, uh, can you give us an overview of his career and who he was? Mm -hmm. um, so he was born in Pittsburgh in the 1920s, a uh, very poor uh, family, and he was actually the only child in his family who went to college. And he studied art and moved to New York and became a very successful uh, commercial artist, so uh, creating advertisements and uh, illustrations and things like that. And, um, and then he began uh, creating uh, silkscreen paintings and sculptures and uh, very quickly achieved renown as an uh, artist associated with pop movement, so using a lot of um, material found from popular culture and uh, the mass media, so um, newspaper headlines, images of movie stars, uh, images of everyday kind of consumer products. And, uh, and then he picked up a film camera in 1963 and uh, began making films and he made hundreds of films. And uh, his uh, studio was called The Factory and it really uh, drew people from all walks of life together and it was not only a place where he was producing artwork but also uh, very, a very dynamic social space where people were kind of uh, trying on and experimenting with new kind of identities um, that were kind of starting to become more possible in the 1960s. Well Andy Warhol had such an eclectic career how did you decide what to include in this exhibition and are there any particular pieces that uh, that stand out for you? Hmm. Yeah, the, the kind of um, organizing idea for the show was uh, really bringing together his vast collections of Hollywood memorabilia and kind of images of, of stars uh, alongside his own artworks, so works in uh, screen prints, drawings, uh, moving images, and um, and we really uh, saw that kind of interest in the star uh, as something, it was really a great way of uh, showing how he was absorbing what was happening in uh, kind of mass culture, but then also creating his own stars like through uh, the performers who uh, would appear again and again in his films. John, what are we looking at here? <laughs> um, this work is from a Warhol series called Myths, and uh, it's from the early 80s, and uh, we really want to show just how this interest in Hollywood and its stars really carried it throughout uh, Warhol's career. Um, and so this is uh, the Wicked Witch of the West from uh, The Wizard of Oz, and she was uh, uh, included in his series of myths, and we think she's kind of one of the most uh, iconic uh, images from Hollywood that, that Warhol was really drawn to. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here we are at Andy Warhol's uh, replica screen test machine. Andy Warhol did say, after all, that everybody gets their 15 minutes of fame. For Howl Magazine in Toronto, I'm Owen Shepard.